What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Wealth Not Weight. Welcome back to another Motivational Monday. Again, where we talk about health and things that motivate you to hopefully improve your health. That's kind of the goal and why we call it Motivational Monday. Monday and motivational. Um, yeah, yeah. Today we're talking about protein bars. This is something that I find very important when you're working out and when you're dieting is getting the correct amount of protein. I reached a plateau when I was working out and I was just like, my muscle mass wasn't getting bigger, I wasn't getting stronger, and I was just like at, at my wits end on how do I improve, how do I get better, and when I really dove into nutrition, that's when I also really started to understand how nutrition plays a major uh, factor in your weight loss and your, and your health overall, is I found out I wasn't getting enough protein. And without eating a ridiculous amount more protein from the foods, which is, is an option you can do, you could have some supplemental protein type things. Not necessarily a supplement, but like protein shakes after working out or protein bars, snacks like this that sort of help fill in those gaps. So we're taking a look at a few of them today. I have, I believe, five of them. I went to CVS. And for, for, first off, I just want to talk about how fucking long is CVS's receipt? Like, this is ridiculous. I mean, I, I know they've like made a joke about it before, but this is insane. And it's all shit I don't need. Like Benadryl, Arizona iced tea is nice, body wash, vitamins, Hallmark cards. Do I really need Hallmark cards? No. And this is just ridiculous. I mean, email. I mean, come on, you know, email. If you ask, would you like a receipt? No, I would not like a receipt or something. Something, this is just wasting paper. You know, the cost that they would save alone is fucking amazing. Ready here, you could cut it off right here. Really. But you could really, I mean, you could improve this so much, but this is just ridiculous. But that's a, that's a subject for another video, I guess. But we had five of them, and I'm gonna do kind of a review style. I'm not gonna give them stars or numbers or anything like that, but some factors that I'm looking for are price, presentation, nutrition, taste and texture, those are the little things I have on my cheat sheet here, and that's the kind of what I'm looking for. Um, just the first time I'm really looking at it, I've had some of these you know, brands in the past, some of these f flavors, but never from the same brand and from the same flavor. This is the first time trying it. You guys get no way to see it first with me. So let's get right into it. The first one we're gonna do is the Quest Double Chocolate Chunk Protein Bar. I've had a Quest bar before. I'm normally a big fan of Quest. They've actually been one of the better protein bars that I enjoy. I'm not a big protein bar person for certain flavors, but the Quest is one of the ones that I really enjoy. Uh, not sponsored or anything like that, but it's just one I enjoy. Um, so first one, obviously, is gonna be price point. Let's check our little cheat sheet here, our receipt. One uh, dark chocolate Quest bar was $3.19. This was actually the most expensive bar on the list. And this is actually a little expensive. Um, you can get packs of these for about eight bucks. So the equivalent of you know two or three, you can get a whole pack. I think there's maybe like four or five in there. Um, and then they had we're having a deal currently where it's buy one, get one half off, but I didn't buy another quest bar, so it really didn't apply to me. For the full price, three dollars and nineteen cents, a little more expensive. I wouldn't want to have one every day for three dollars and nineteen cents a bar. You know, that's gonna equate to probably about like almost twenty dollars a week if you're having them, you know, every day or every couple days at least. It's it's gonna get pretty expensive. The price presentation is this one is in a quest. It has a big chocolate brownie looking bar. That's kind of what caught my eye. That and it's purple. Really nice packaging. I enjoy the packaging. We're going to take a look at the presentation of the bar itself when we really get into it. Beforehand, we're going to look at the nutrition. It has 180 calories. Not great, not horrible. It is under 200 calories and is a snack. That's you know pretty good, especially if it's a fulfilling snack. Calories from fat is 60. Again, not great. But we're getting into it. Total fat, seven grams. It's 11% of your daily value. And these are probably healthier fats, not necessarily bad fats, but um, I don't know for certain. I don't make the Quest bars. Uh, saturated fat is 13% and 2.5 grams. That's not great. Um, that's like maybe like a piece of cheese. You normally see 2.5 to 3 grams of worth of saturated fat. No trans fats, which is good. Cholesterol, 2%. Sodium, which is 9%. Not great, but not horrible. Total carbs, 24 grams, which is 8% of your daily value. Again, that's not bad. Dietary fibers, 14 grams, which is 56% of daily value. Um, fibers are good. You can't have too much of a good thing, but having a little bit extra fiber isn't horrible. 56% takes up less than one gram of sugar and 20 grams of protein, which is 40% of your daily value, which is awesome. And then 10% so calcium, 10% iron. Um, but yeah, so all in all, this nutrition isn't really bad. As far as a snack, if you're having one of, the, one of these a day, 
that's not really that horrible. So we're gonna open this up and we're gonna take a look at the presentation. Not bad. I mean, it looks kind of like a chocolate bar, a bit like a brownie. Not really horrible. Um, it's not the most appetizing thing in the world, but it's definitely not horrible. It looks like a brownie bar. So price, a little expensive. We're gonna see how it is. Presentation, so far pretty good. Nutrition, pretty good. Then we do taste and texture and let's see how it is. So initial reaction is it's not bad. Definitely a bit of that protein taste. If you guys ever had a protein shake, a protein bar before, excuse me, very chewy. That's why I'm hard, hard to talk and do it at the same time. But if you guys have anything like that before, it definitely has a bit of a protein taste. But it also has a very strong brownie and chocolate flavor. Normally vanilla and like vanilla type things like birthday cake and stuff like that. Protein, I hate with a passion because it's horrible and you get a real burst of protein taste. If you guys read my book, I talk about how I did the protein shakes and I would just sort of stare at this thing of vanilla goop with the little blob floating around in my drink and I'm just like, what, what life decision did I make that this was horrible? <laughs> that this is, I'm, I, this is the point I'm at in my life. This is horrible. So I look for a better option, but I mean, I could see myself having this a little chewy. I'm not a big fan of the texture, but this is a pretty good protein bar. If you're looking for something flavorful, you're looking for something that doesn't taste, it'll feel horrible. This would be great for it, just a little expensive. So we're gonna see how it compares to the rest of them. Moving on, we now have this kind of interesting one. We have two from a Lara, Lara bar, Lara, Lara's bar, Lara, Lara bar. I actually wanted to try these, I see these all the time. And they had to buy two for four sale. So yeah, this was $209 and then $209, $4. So for the price of one, a little over the price of one, you get two of these. But and they're about the same size. But yeah, so Laura Bar, we're gonna move in. I want to try the apple pie one first. That sounds really interesting, actually. So original fruit, nut fruit bar. Look at the price, $209. Price is pretty good, pretty reasonable for a protein bar. I we hard fought to find a good protein bar for under two dollars. This is right around there, two dollars, so that's good. Presentation, a uh, nice, a little bland. It's different though, it's interesting. Uh, I drew my eye with the colors, they normally have nice colors. Um, the green, green's cool, you know, it's a normal normal kind of packaging for a snack food. Um, and then let's take a look at now the nutrition, if I could find, there we go, it's on the back. Little difficult to get to, not gonna lie, you have to really fold it up and look at. So 200 calories, um, almost the same as that, 20 calories more, nine grams of fat, and see, it's very difficult to get to the nutrition on these bars. They're actually, you got to fold it and bend it a bit. There we go. Um, saturated fat, one gram. You know, not horrible. Um, comparative, let's take a look to this, this fat. This fat was seven grams. This is nine grams, so more fat. Um, saturated fat is less, though. That's okay. Again, I feel like there's more natural fats, I'm hoping. I'm not 100% certain. Uh, trans fats, no fats. Poly fats in this one, though. Uh, monsterated fats in this one as well. Cholesterol, there's none of that, no, 0%. Uh, sodium, 0%. Total carbs, 25 grams, which is 9% of the daily value. I think it's about the same as this one, right? Um, 24%, yeah, 24 grams, so a little bit more. Um, total sugars, 18 grams. Holy shit. Includes zero added sugars, but that's still 18 grams of natural sugar, which again, it's natural sugars, it's not horrible, you know, but I have about 100 grams of sugar. So this, that's, you know, it's about 18% of my daily, my daily sugar intake. Uh, it's like eating some fruit, I would imagine, because apple pie, I wonder how that one, this one compares to it. But yeah, that's, that's pretty high in sugars, not any added sugars, which is good, natural sugars, and, I'm, uh, and uh, it's packed full of fiber, 15%. But it's still not great, you know, compared to the fiber versus sugars. Uh, four grams of protein, so not really great if protein as a protein bar. Are they marketed as a, no, original fruit and nut bar. So no, they're not really marketed as a protein bar. They're just like a nutrition kind of bar. Um, yeah, and then calcium, potassium, nothing really special there. Okay, so we're going to dive into it. Holy shit, 18 grams, holy fuck, that's a lot. All right, so we're going to take a look at now the presentation on it. Oh, it's not great. Open it up, I'm not gonna lie. Looks a little like poop. <laughs> that's, that's the best way I can describe it. It's, it's not, not 
not the best looking thing in the world. Um, but yeah, smells like an apple pie. I actually have a very strong aroma is of, of apple pie, which is good. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take a bite and see. No, yeah, it's good. <laughs> That's really good, actually. Um, yeah, looks is almost like a brownie. It tastes like an apple pie. So the taste and the texture, amazing. Outside presentation is pretty good. Price is pretty good. Just the nutrition is not great. 18 grams. I'm sure I'm going to not eat this all. 18 grams of sugar, natural sugar. I mean, if you're already not heavy in sugars, I mean, I, I, I'm finding it hard to recommend that. That's, that's the thing. I want to like it. I want to say it's taste. It's not high in, as far as a, a daily value worth of sugar. But... You know, eighteen percent. Well, it's kind of high, but if that's all you had, that and some fruit. But the fibers don't quite make up for the amount of sugar they have that would help you digest it. So, I mean, if you're gonna have something, you're like, I'm hungry. I need something sweet. Maybe you don't have any fruit on hand. It's like you're gonna grab that, or you're gonna grab like a snack. You know, on a healthy snack, maybe on a cheat day, that could be a snack. You know, it's not quite a horrible snack, but it's like not quite a good snack. You know. Um, I'd say that's a good middle of the road kind of thing. It's not a great protein bar like the Quests, I would say, but it's also not as bad as say like a brownie or any other snacks. And it, it beats out on a lot. It's just nutrition really makes it difficult for me to recommend it. So, so far I think the Quest is still in the lead of the, uh, the Alara bar here. And then again with this one, we have the yellow Alara bar being my palate. Excellent. The other Lara bar, orange cashew cookie. It's gonna be kind of interesting. Same price point, same kind of presentation, at least for the outside of it. And again, very difficult to get to the nutrition. They really don't want you looking at that nutrition, huh? I have to like peel this back and practically open the thing. I think this is actually gonna rip. Yep, there you go. It's ripping while they're looking at nutrition. So they can make it a little easier to get the nutrition. Um, 220 calories, more calories here. 12 grams of fat, that's more fat. High in saturated fats, poly, uh, zero trans fats, which is good. Um, so yeah, 2.5 grams of saturated fat. That, again, that's not great. Trans fat, polysaturated two, monosaturated fat, seven grams, zero cholesterol, five uh, grams, milligrams of sodium, 25 grams of carb, again, higher. Two grams of fiber, that's not great. 15 grams of sugar, holy crap. Zero added sugar again, so it's all natural sugar, I guess. But that's still, oh, I can't. Five grams of protein too, and this is again another nut bar. That's not great. Um, I don't even think I could somewhat recommend recommend going with that. That's that's how tough it is. And then looking at it again, it looks like a slightly lighter colored turd. You <laughs> know, that's kind of what I was going for. Cashew cookie, it smells almost like barbecue. I don't know how I feel about that. But we're gonna give it a shot. It's like a cashew cookie. If I've been to a cookie, I think since it was a cashew cookie, this is exactly what it tastes like, you know? It's, it's a healthy alternative to, or impossible healthy alternative to say eating like a cookie or like a cupcake or something like that. It's another option, you know? If those are your options, is I have a piece of cake or I have this, I'd recommend probably having something like this, but this isn't a healthy bar by any means. It's really trying to get a good taste to it. Has an odd aftertaste too. Texture is okay. Texture is almost like again like a brownie. Um, this is definitely going at the back. I can't really recommend it for the nutrition for it. The taste isn't even really that great. Maybe for like cashew cookie, and just the sugars and the fibers are even less than before. So I can't, I can't recommend it. In good conscience. Um, we have the R X bar. Now you guys probably see these a lot. They like the no, no extra label, no stuff. It tells you exactly what's in it. No BS, yeah. It tells you exactly no bullshit well, on what's in it. It tells you exactly what's in it and shows you. I like the packaging. Really clear cut, really nice. Different from what a lot of people do. Uh, they make the nutrition really easy to get to, unlike the lar bars. I like the color of the red. They have interesting flavor, peanut butter and berries, almost like a peanut butter and jelly. This is three egg whites, 14 peanuts, two dates, no BS. 12 gram protein bar. And this is marketed as a protein bar. 
So, let's take a look at the back. Really like the packaging. Sorry, no, 329. This is actually the most expensive one. Holy fuck, I didn't even realize that. Wow, I should have looked at that beforehand. I thought this was, no, this is more than the Quest Bar. Yeah, wow, okay. Well, damn. I didn't even realize. So, this is more than the Quest Bar. Um, that's protein, though. And that, that kind of changed up the way I thought about it. 200 gram, uh, calories, that's not horrible. Seven grams of fat, again, that's about on par with the Quest Bar. Uh, one gram of saturated fat, 5% of your daily fat. Not great, but it's, you know, not horrible. Again, uh, zero uh, cholesterol, 135 milligrams of sodium, 6% of your daily value. 26 grams of carbs, probably good carbs. Dietary fibers. I'm going to check the Quest Bar again. How much sugar? Yeah, less than one gram of sugar. Oh, damn. Cholesterol, yeah. Um, yeah, so um, dietary fiber, 6 grams, and 15 grams of sugar with zero added sugar. So this is still pretty high in sugar, too, with not a quite high amount of dietary fiber to match it. 21% in dietary fiber, which is good overall, but matching to those 15 grams of sugar, I don't know how I feel about it, with 12 grams of protein. I have a feeling it's going to fall between the Quest Bar and the Larbar. That's my right. That's my feeling on it. Um, opening it up, let's take a look, let's see. Um, it looks kind of like a neutral loaf. That would be the best way for you guys to see those, the big thing they serve in prison, and it's sticking to the package, which isn't fantastic. Um, has a very peanut butter jelly-like smell when you open it up, and it looks kind of, again, like a neutral loaf, but I don't know how I feel, but we're going to try it. Okay, not bad. It tastes like you would expect. That's exactly the best way to put it. It's not amazing, but it's not horrible. I'd say it's on par with the Larbar. That's my, that's my kind of thing. The first Larbar, the apple pie one. Really, you get the taste of it, you can taste the berry. I don't like the texture. It's hard to bite into and then chewy in the middle. But yeah, I'm kind of stuck in my teeth. Um, I mean, for the price point, it's got a little better nutrition as far as protein and less fat. I would personally put it at the same spot as the first Lar Bar. So just to recap so far, we have the Quest Bar ahead of everything else, even though it's a little more expensive. The price point of this one, and just the kind of nutrition of it in general, is put on bar with the Lar, Lara Bar, the apple pie one. And then this one away in the back, because this one just wasn't really that great either. So, we have a uh, first, two ties for second, and then a third. One bar. Yeah. Um, the one bar was... Yeah, so 269 for this one. This one's one of the cheaper ones. Um, it's great packaging. I like the way it's very nice and modern. Very kind of clear. Uh, looks very nice. On the front of it, look, make it look like candy. And this is a protein bar. Uh, it says 20 grams of protein, one gram of sugar. That's awesome. Uh, I like the, the packaging of it. Dark chocolate sea salt. That sounds kind of interesting. Package, the nutrition's very clear, not like the water bars where I gotta peel the thing off. It's right on the front. I think this is actually the most clear of the nutrition labels that you have seen other than maybe the Quest Bar. And then this one, which has the, the ingredients, but the nutrition is kind of tough to get, uh, tougher to get to. Not tough, but tougher. Um, 210 calories per bar. Again, right around the same with everything. Uh, normally between 180 and 2, 220. Uh, total of 7 grams of fat. You know, about average. Saturated fat is 6 grams. Holy shit. That's the highest one we've seen so far. That's like... That's a lot. <laughs> That's like two and a half pieces of cheese, you know? That's a lot of saturated fat. 30% of your daily value in saturated fat. So if you're having this in, in addition with other stuff, it's going to be tough on your day. Uh, high in saturated fat, holy fuck. Uh, polysaturated one gram, monosaturated 0.5 grams, not bad. Cholesterol is 2%. I think this is the only one that's had cholesterol so far, right? Uh, other than the uh, Quest Bar. This is the only other one. Um, sodium, 250 milligrams, 11% of your daily value, not great. Um, total carbs, 23 grams, 8%, but probably complex carbs, I would hope. I'm not quite sure. Um, let's see, total sugars, 1 gram, 0 grams of added sugars, 
uh, dietary fibers, eight grams, 29%. So this is fucking great for your fibers, low on your sugars, everything on this so far I'm liking, except for the saturated fat, that is ridiculous. It's probably why they get their taste. You need to go low on sugar, you need to go high on fat. And saturated fat is, is the higher one. Sugar alcohol is five grams. So it's not, and we did a thing on this. I found out what sugar alcohols are. It's, they say it's not quite alcohol, it's not quite sugar. It is a more natural form of sugar, usually referred to as artif or sugar substitutes. So it's about five grams of sugar substitute, like a Splenda type thing, five grams of that. So just to include it, let's just say six grams of sugar total, natural, healthier sugars, but you know, not high by any means compared to some of these, and high in fibers to help you digest it, which is great. And 20 grams of protein, 40% of your daily value, which is fucking awesome. It's just the fats is what kills me right now with 30% of that fat. But let's open it up and take a look. Let's see. Um, it looks very much like a candy bar. First, first inspection, that's kind of what I'm seeing here, is it's a candy bar. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that a lot. That looks like a candy bar. It smells like a candy bar. Yeah, it smells like a, like a, like a Thin Mint almost, which is kind of odd because it's not mint, but. All right, so we're gonna take a test, let's see. It definitely tricks you. Oh no, not bad. Texture's okay. It kind of tricks you. Like I said, expect hard and crunchy, and you get soft and squishy in the middle. It's a little different. And the taste, very, the dark chocolate's definitely there. A little more pushback is a blast of dark chocolate like a candy bar. And you definitely taste the sea salt, obviously. I mean, with the nutrition for it and everything, even with the high saturated fat, which I think is fucking ridiculous, that's the one bad thing about it. That's the one thing I don't like versus the sugars and the saturated fats and everything else to it. So I think personally, I'm going to put this one second. I know, <laughs> it might be a little controversial with some of you, but I think personally I'm gonna put that one second um, and that's where we're gonna put it at. So, yeah, I think that's, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> I think so, we'll go over it. So in the back here we have the Lar Bar, the cashew cookie one, wasn't great. Uh, price point was about the middle range. Nutrition wasn't good by any stretch of the imagination. I would not purchase this again personally. The RX Bar, I think I'm gonna tie with the other lar bar, I, I mean, if offered to me, I would get it. I wouldn't buy it again for $3.29, I believe it was. Yeah, I would not buy that again. Um, so like if I had to go out of my way to purchase it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. Um, the lar bar, again, middle of the road to price. The other tie for apple pie, I would consider getting this again if I'm really in the mood for apple pie but don't want to have all the calories of apple pie. There's a little more healthier version of like an apple pie. I would definitely consider getting something like this again for that. Um, reasonably priced, nice. So, no, actually, fuck it. That's going third. I'm changing, I'm changing all the rules here. That's going third, the RX bar is going fourth. I have a clear cut system for it. Cause now thinking back on it, I, I really liked this a lot more compared to the RX bar. Even though the flavor for the RX bar was pretty good um, and the smell was good, this I just liked a lot more, even though the nutrition and then was this also pretty decent, I think as far as what it is. It doesn't mark itself as a protein bar, so I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt, and I'm gonna put in this one third. RX bar is going fourth. If you guys wanna tie it, you can, but they're, they're pretty close, if not exact. But I think for this demonstration, I'm gonna put it uh, as, as fourth, just so we have a, a solid line there. And, okay, so we already did the lar bar, and then, so now, sec so second, we have the one bar, like, Texture, texture's interesting. Taste is pretty good. Um, price point, pretty solid. Uh, nutrition's really good. It's just the fats, I wish was less the saturated fats. That's a little high. That's not fucking great, but I realize everything else is awesome. And then kind of the way I predicted, I was going into it very reasonable, but the Quest Bar had the best nutrition, the best presentation, um, one of the better flavors uh, compared to say the Cashew and kind of this one, um, the RX Bar but higher for the price point, but all in all, if you're looking for a protein bar, I think this Quest Bar is exactly what you would picture and exactly when you think good protein bar, this is what you would think. That and the one bar I think are, are about tied or 
or pretty reasonable in the way they set it up. But I think the Quest Bar just pulls that a little head and is, is worth if you buy it in the pack. Maybe not individual, but if you buy in the pack at eight and you, get, you have eight bucks, that's like four or five of them, I definitely think it's worth it. So, one more time, Lar Bar in the back, the cashew one, RX Bar in the fourth, the yellow Lar Bar, apple pie in the third, the one bar, again, some of these being very close, one bar being second, and then the Quest Bar being first. Um, what do you guys think? If you guys have tried any of these bars, do you think I'm fucking nuts? What do you think I'm, I'm about right with the estimate? Um, do you think also CVS should shorten their receipts? I think the answer for that one is yes, just all across the board. Um, leave your comments. Uh, if you guys like, like this, maybe we can make it a series. Go over some more protein bars. There's plenty other flavors, plenty other brands that we could go through and give it a shot. So let me know how you guys like this video. Let me know how you guys like these bars. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It really puts the channel out. It really uh, helps us get out there and shows me you guys like the content. I'll keep doing more of it. So yeah, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.